بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اینڈ السلام علیکم ایوری ون گڈ ٹو ویلکم یو بیک ٹو ورڈس کارپوریٹ گورننس اینڈ ٹوڈے وی گو ٹاک اباؤٹ ویری انٹرسٹنگ ٹاپک وچ از دی ورلڈ اکانمی اینڈ کارپوریٹ گورننس ان دا پاسٹ ہنڈریڈ ایئرس وی ہیو سین دیٹ اسمال کارپوریشنس اور اسمال آرگنائزیشنس ہیو بیسکلی ایکسپلوڈ ان سائز ان ان ریونیو ان پروفٹس اینڈ ان ایسٹس ون روم آرگنائزیشنس ہیو بیکم گلوبل پاور ہاؤزز دے بیکم global conglomerates and these one one room or these one small entity organizations have actually now become larger than many national economies around the world we see that organizations are now crossing not only the 1 trillion mark but also the 2 trillion mark and there are very few economies uh, of that particular scale so the challenge again is is that how do we uh, introduce and how is it that we tend to inculcate corporate governance within these large entities which are even more powerful economically than nations or many nations uh, altogether now uh, if we look at the aggregate of the us stock market it is well worth over 30 trillion dollars uh, and is serving as the home to a corporate behemoth worth hundreds of billions of dollars the us economy is the largest in the world and we see that google the parent company alphabet is worth roughly the same as every company in the spanish stock market put together so what we see is is that these behemoths these huge global conglomerates are now dominating the global economy and and one of them as you know is google and the parent company alphabet uh, is again doing wonders we see that uh, another alphabet a company which is apple uh, that uh, has an office larger than the size of the pentagon and again uh, is more than a trillion dollar company and then we see that a few billionaires uh, are now emerging we see uh, again uh, elon musk emerging uh, of tesla uh, with with an individual worth of uh, over 250 billion dollars and having a corporate worth of over a trillion dollars combined his different companies put together and then again uh, we've seen how other IT based companies have emerged uh, as huge economic powerhouses and they are driving not only business but also in the case of Microsoft in which we see the Bill Melinda corporation uh, or foundation which is uh, contributing billions and billions of dollars uh, into the health sector and to other social areas we see uh, that uh, this uh, other billionaire uh, which uh, uh, again uh, these billionaires have put together different foundations and they are also contributing uh, to the social development and also to the underprivileged around the world so they basically are economic power houses and they are driving nations and also the global economy now let's look at it from a more geographical aspect so what we see is is that if we compare companies with europe so you can see over here how visa how mcdonalds how disney company how coca cola how alphabet and how other companies are larger than one national economy uh, we see over here that those companies are larger than huge economic concerns and, and national economies and uh, this is very evident that just this very small group of about 10 companies is actually uh, engulfing the whole of the gross domestic product or the economies of the whole of europe and that is uh, fascinating how uh, these things have developed and how they are changing the dynamics uh, of business on a global level if we compare it with the middle east again so over here what you can see is that uh, companies like exxon mobil we see that companies like intel companies like oracle and disney again having a massive size and again just these five six companies totally engulf the whole middle east and that is how they have that stature they have that control they have that power and they have that influence so to ensure corporate governance in all of these companies becomes a very uh, big challenge at a national at a regional and at a global level if we do a similar comparison uh, with uh, south and central america then again we see that alphabet is basically nearly the whole of south uh, america we can see that so this again is depicting that how a few companies can have a massive impact on the global economy if we look at africa then amazon itself the whole horn of uh, africa including south africa uh, would be 
encompassed by uh, Amazon. And that again is the level of influence of these different companies. Uh, looking at Asia, then again Apple, we look at Facebook, Alphabet, we see other companies that just seven, eight companies tend to encompass Asia. And that again is the level of influence that these companies are carrying. So these 15, 20 companies actually uh, would be uh, about half of the global economy if we look at them in this particular context. And the owners, which are just a few dozen individuals, they are all, um, they are all multi-billionaires. Uh, many of them who have crossed 100 billion, some of them uh, crossing the 200 billion mark. And that basically shows how uh, the finances uh, are now in the hands of a few individuals or a few companies. Now, it might be positive in one context, but there are also many negativities and there are many challenges. And these challenges make it more difficult for corporate governance because uh, these companies wield so much of power, so much of influence, uh, so much of impact that it becomes difficult to regulate them. And we've seen that in the case of uh, Microsoft. We've seen that in the case of Facebook. We've seen that in the case of Google. We've seen that uh, in the case of um, um, British Tobacco or American Tobacco Company. All of these different companies who are large companies, uh, it becomes very difficult to ensure that they follow uh, the right path of ethics, the right path of morality and of values and also of corporate governance. Thank you so much.